I'm about to ask you, of all the great hits you had, why do you pick that one out as a, high, as a particular highlight? Yeah, because it was very controversial and I didn't think so when I wrote it. It was banned in Australia and sort of places like that because of its content mm. about uh, transvestites. And strangely enough, Australia's got more transvestites than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> what's a time? You're looking uncomfortable. Well, sorry, you've lost it. Someone hasn't got a vest on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's very. Not, please, I've got very good friends that are transvestites. But, uh, oh, that's why you call it king. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very individual style, wasn't it? It was a very individual. Ignore him. It was a very individual style, wasn't it? And, and the one, the thing that struck me about your music was that the, the lyrics. Actually, not only were they discernible, but they were, they were quite different to, to most of the other music at that time. Mm, yes. What does discernible mean? I mean, that's <laughs> <laughs> he was transvestite. I see. It's going to be an intellectual and stimulating conversation. Yeah. No, they were, yes. I'm known for my lyrics. Surely yeah. to have something banned is a sure measure of success, isn't it? Well, a friend of mine just made a video well, fr uh, uh, with a band, and, and I said, how is it? And he said, it's eminently su uh, suitable for being banned, <laughs> which, is a, which, is, which is a good... Pro, you know, good plug, really, because it is. It's controversial. Well, let's let's, let's <coughs> move on to the next highlight uh, you you picked out for us, because uh, you received an award in Holland uh, for writing Lola, in fact, and uh, that other great song, Sunny Afternoon. But uh, before the award ceremony in Amsterdam, you uh, visited an art gallery, and you were particularly impressed by some paintings by Rembrandt, and I think mm. we have a selection of them here. Now, people, not many people know that um, Rembrandt, apart from being a great artist, played centre-forward for Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously. It obviously, it obviously had an effect on you. What, what, what was that effect? Well, they were giving me this big award. It's just the way that sort of pop music and show business has taken over, you know, and people call it a, r a real art form. Just before the award, I went to see some of this guy's paintings in the, in the gallery there, just to keep myself on a sort of level, because mm -hmm. you get all these awards and things, you get this success. You play, we play Madison Square Garden and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you realise, you know, what really good artists. I just wanted to put things in perspective. Sure. And is it something you've uh, pursued <clears throat> since? An interest in art? Uh, oh, always. I was an art student, yeah. like every, o every other musician. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do, do like art. I do sketches of people. I don't want to, I'm a great, great sketcher. Right. Smashing. Well, stay yeah. with us. We're going to take a short break. Need record. The unmistakable sound of the Kings. The definitive collection from the definitive 60s band. 26 classic tracks, including all 14 top 10 hits. The very best of the Kinks on the Definitive Collection. group is the Kinks and the composer Ray Davis. You're very good at keeping a secret, aren't you? Ray, what was your <laughs> response to this request? Well, Nola asked me to his uh, famous house in um, Bywater Street, and um, I walked in, sat down, he said, I'm making a movie, so I immediately looked round for the cameras. And, <laughs> <laughs> and he said, uh, it's called The Virgin Soldiers, and you've got two options. You can um, be the writer of the music, or you can audition for one of the parts. And I thought about it, and um, I said, I'll write the music. And Ned asked me why, and I said, because uh, I'm no longer a virgin, Ned, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> <laughs> but you've made up for it since. So I'm sure I have. <laughs> And the music became part of the movie. Yeah, thanks, Ned. Thank yes. you very much. Good luck. Thank you. 